Hello, graph theory. Today we are going to discuss a matrix representation of a graph. We have a graph A, B, C, D, four vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, six edges. So this is a graph of four vertices or four nodes and six edges. And we want to have its representation as a matrix. So there are two kind of a, a matrix representation. One is called adjacency matrix. Another one is called incidence matrix. In adjacency matrix, we want to know the how the uh, one uh, vertex of the graph is joining the other vertices. So link or connection of one vertex with other vertices. vertices. So we will write all the vertices as a column and all the vertices as a row. And then one by one we will see that how is the connection, how is a, a, a one vertex is joining the other vertex, vertex. So A to A there is a no joining, A to B one joining. A to C, there is no joining. A to D, one joining. B. B to A, B to A, one joining. B to B, there is no joining. There is no loop. B to C, one joining. B to D, two joining. Five and six, two roots. C. C to A. C to A, no joining. C to B, 1. C to D. C to C, none. C to D, 1. Now D. D to A, 1 joining. D to B, 2 joining. 2 roots, 2 connections, 2. D to C, 1 joining, D to D, 0. So now we can shift this one and represent as a square bracket. And this is our adjacency matrix of a graph. So it will be represented by 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, one zero. So this is the matrix, adjacency matrix of a graph. Now we will discuss incidence matrix of the graph. Incidence matrix, how the vertex of this graph is incidence on the edges. So A to relationship with the edge 1 2 3 4 and all other so we will write down all the vertices as a column and all the edges as a row so first of all a is incident on 1 yes a is incident on 2 no a is incident on 3? No. A is incident 4? Yes. A is incident on 5 and 6? No. 0, 0. B. B is incident on 1? Yes. This one. B is incident on 2? Yes. This one. B is incident on 3? No. B is incident on 4, no, 5, yes, 6, yes, these two. C, C, is it incidence on 1, no, is it, C is incident on 2, yes, 1, C is incidence on 3, yes, C is incident on 4, no, Neither 5, neither 6. D. 
D vertex, how is uh, is incidence uh, on other edges? So D two one zero, D two two zero, D two three yes, D two two four yes, five yes, six yes, all this one, one. Now we will shift this one and represent this as a M, M matrix of the graph representing the how the vertex of the graph is incident on the edges. So this will be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And second row, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Third, 0, 1, 0, 0 1 1 0 0 0 and the last row 0 0 1 1 1 1 the m matrix will be either 1 or 0 but the adjacency matrix can have other values 0 1 and 2 or more so this is the metric representation of a graph.